Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes. In this flight I'm going to go from Cologne in Germany to Amsterdam in the Netherlands in a Grob G115 Tutor. Uh, this is this plane right here. It is actually of German manufacture, though as you can see from the livery this version is used by the Royal Air Force which seems to use quite a lot of them for training purposes. Uh, so does the Royal Navy. And so yeah, Grob Aerospace though, a German company uh, produces it. It's, you know, it's a general aviation fixed wing sort of thing. It's fairly simple. And the flight is 124 nautical miles, so this should be able to complete the flight in about an hour. And, yeah, this is a freeware version, so nice considering that. I am in the right seat because I'm apparently British, I guess, is the idea. I don't know what the rules are, but I am in the right seat. And we are going to be continuing with the Apollo 12 audio in which um, P. Conrad and Al Bean are on the surface of the moon conducting their first EVA. And uh, they may finish that first EVA during this flight. We'll see. It's possible. Uh, it depends on the exact timing of, every of everything. But here we go playing the audio. Just picking up where we left off. Okay. Alright. It's a pretty stormy day so far, at least as I had the X-Plane 11 open, it constantly said there were storms out. We'll see. There's quite a wind too. We'll get a chance to fly over Cologne again. We didn't get a really proper chance last time. Unfortunately, since there seem to be low level clouds, there's this flickering again. Let's go over to that bridge first. Sort of got this tail uh, ventral fin right here, too. Interesting. Well, we keep Roger, it to you for copy? now. Uh, are you on your way out with the LSM? Yeah, I know the rendering options are a little bit too Roger. tough for it. But we'll bear with it for now. Pete, copy antenna mast in place, and good luck. <laughs> Look at that, Pete. But hey, one of the fun things here, Houston, is all these powerful packing blocks that uh, come off, to, uh, that are put on there to uh, protect you during uh, shipment or uh, launch. When you uh, take shipment. them off and throw them, they really sail. You think stay airborne for 10 seconds, maybe. The LSM is the lunar surface magnetometer, which will measure the moon's magnetic field. 
Seems like we're above the flickering and now we can see some rain. I imagine if I allowed it to render all the clouds, it'd be much more of an overcast. on that camera and when you get back we'll have a uh, test for you to uh, run on it it looks as though part of it's come back and uh, we're going to try and see what we can salvage banging it with a hammer worked okay oh it's flickering again Al, we're not sure on that. Uh, why don't you uh, wait till we get back? To, wait till you get back to the LEM, and uh, we'll work it out a bit and see if we can determine it. Uh, it's getting a bit darker and cloudier. Okay. All right. Hey, Al. Winds at uh, twelve thousand. Oh, we got clouds. Uh, Thirty-six, thirty-eight knots here. It's down. It's uh, fifty-seven knots down here. For a slow plane like this, it's it can be a little bit rough. Let's stay below the clouds, hopefully. Otherwise, you know, the flight's gonna be a little bit boring. Hello, Yankee Clipper, Houston. Reminder: Yankee Clipper is Dick Gordon in orbit around the moon. And I, uh, in the audio, cut out all the quiet parts. Though there aren't many quiet parts during this part of the audio. Oh, it's going up again. Um, looks like cruise speed for this is 124 knots, but max speed is 185. So we've got quite a range to work with. As I dive and do not throttle down. Not really diving. It wants to go up. Come on, we want to see the sights at Cologne. I'll slow down. I shouldn't have mentioned that it should be an overcast. It gave it bad ideas. Okay, there we go. Still following the river fine. Is the bridge. Okay, we haven't missed too much. Yankee Clipper, Houston. Hi, Houston Clipper here. Bunch of nice bridges. EVA is going pretty well. They're uh, two and a half hours into it. And they've got the uh, LSEP uh, I think good way deployed. Apparently both of them uh, look as though they just crawled out of a coal bin. Other that than that, uh, <laughs> things pretty much nominal. That one back, uh, that one right there under the yeah, left wing is okay, South Bridge. The, uh, and it's, then uh, this one is Severn's Bridge. And, exactly and then and the right Dutz, the Dutzer Bridge. Roger, I'll copy. And Hohenzollern Bridge. Is the here, trust one right there? Just a lot of dust on top of the, uh, the box. And Hohenzollern Bridge the seems to be right in front of a cathedral. Yeah. Hope it too much. Roger, Al. We're flying over a stadium as well. Clipper, we Lots, of Lots of stuff here. Lots of stuff here. Rev 19, LOS, 118-4840, 119-1330, 119-3433. 
There's a zoo bridge, a Mulheimer bridge, is this one, with a train currently going through the middle. see the tall stacks. There have been a lot of Bayer facilities by the river, but I think uh, one of those tall stacks of both of them are associated with Bayer facilities as well. Sorry about the low frame rates, but there is a lot of scenery here. Especially the custom buildings and bridges that we just passed. It'll pick up a little bit once we get past, though, with the rain and all, and all the clouds, I'm not sure. Heading towards Dusseldorf. I'll deploy the side now, Pete. Okay. That's my last item. On my last one. Okay. Ah oh yes, I think uh, this stack, this reddish one, even had Bayer written on it. That antenna look like it's pointed at Earth. It looks close. That's it. That's it, Earth. Uh, uh, across the river is Ford Work, GMBH. And yeah, that's Ford Germany. So uh, across the river is actually Ford facilities. Ford Germany. On this side, Bayer. In Kempark, Leverkusen. This is Leverkusen. But in the end, I bet. Oh, there's a uh, stadium. How's that, uh... Quite a bright looking stadium. And I'm guessing that's Bayer Stadium, because... <laughs> okay, now what do I want to do? Otherwise, something went very wrong. Yeah, B Bay Arena. They combined the name Bayer with Arena and got Bay Arena. Alright. Well, like Bayer is big. Pick up the cards. Back. Indeed. Pick up the cards. Were they with that box? Do I have them? You probably got them on? I do. I can't see. No, they weren't with that box. 
Okay, Houston, the antenna is up at the line, the 1644 and 525. Alright, on to Dusseldorf now. Actually, let's not follow the river directly, let's make more of a straight line to Dusseldorf. The dust is causing severe consternation to them, clearly. Been out uh, two plus forty, and uh, the pacing one right now is Al. You're running around uh, twenty minutes behind. And when you can, we'd like an EMU check, and if you give us your uh, O2 readings. All right. Well, I'm, I'm okay, in favor of getting some more frame rates right now. To and, cut uh, down on the auto gen. Uh, negative on that. You're perking along real well, and we're following your progress. It looks as though you're getting the job done. I mean, when the guy tells them that they're running 20 minutes behind, they gotta wonder whether they're uh, look, uh, considered satisfactory at this point. And uh, it's not really their fault that they're 20 minutes behind. Oh, 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 let's go down. That's affirmative, Pete. Uh, we understand you're not able to get a reading, so uh, go ahead and uh, close it, and we'll stand by for a uh, zero reading. Okay, it might be full scale. Well, you better tell him I can do. I have to put the side down. Doesn't make any difference, does it? I don't know. It's all connected. It's all connected. Does it make any difference, Houston? Stand by. So, in the exterior view, there are two people inside, but. Area I'm all alone. Pete, we'd like you to go ahead and get the uh, full deployment done first before you depress the shorting amps. Okay. Well, you're dirty all in your knees. Can I give you any help? Sure could. All right, uh, that's understandable. Tough to uh, model a figure convincingly and, uh, that Dale, close on, in the uh, cockpit. Picture taking. If you would try to uh, document some of the uh, dirt which you've, which has gotten over all over the equipment. If you would try to uh, get close-ups, which will uh, show the dirt we might have on thermally sensitive areas. And also, uh, when you get done, if you would take uh, one or two extra pictures showing the uh, LCEP with the mounds that you described previously in the background. That'll give us a good geometric reference. Okay, I did a pan out here. Hold on. I did a, a pan out here at the... Uh, can just say? Yeah. Let me hold this in. You stretch that end out. Okay. Get, it right. get, the, get, the, kind of, get the coil down. Which way does this thing hit? It's got a head... Uh, Away from uh, Central Station, away from everything. Probably got a point right over there. Okay, but now, I think if you kind of twirled it a couple times, 
it would end up uncoiling and uh, twist in the line. That's the right way. Try it that way again. Looks like it might be working. That's good. That's doing good. Okay, let me take and set this thing down. And I'm supposed to point to the earth this way. Oh, that'll be good. It's your ground wire wrapped around the legs. Okay, got it. Looks like it's going to be okay. Yankee Clipper, Houston. I am. Yankee Clipper, if you give us uh, poo and accept, we'll ship you up a state vector, a target load, and a refs map. Yeah, we got it. Roger. I will say that the prevalence of detailed buildings will go down dramatically once we're out of. Uh, Germany and, of course, out of Europe as well, because we have a lot more detailed scenery here than elsewhere. Plus side is frame rates, my side, not as many unique buildings and such. But Germany in particular has a lot, thanks to the efforts of Gunter Kremp on the explain.org forums. And also sim objects. Okay, well, uh, this is Dusseldorf with uh, these unique buildings. I guess briefly we'll... I mean, even at this level, the frame rate is horrible. Actually, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference with the autogen. Gotta hand it to explain. The, expl uh, the autogen and explain is not that hard on the frame rates. It's everything else, that is. Clouds are big, though. But... I mean, don't fall over. Okay. doesn't don't seem worry. to make a huge no, amount. There's a little bit more way. stutteriness, though. That thing goes right in the dirt each time. I know, I know. Let me it's see. I, I see some towers great. there I didn't see before. Yeah, Those, yeah, yeah that goes away. Way. Eh, we'll keep it this way, then. I don't want to lose any right, details. Okay. Someday, someday. You know, I knew that thing -like cable was going to make it. I'll figure out how to get good performance. And then some even more taxing flight simulator will come out. It's, are we really going to lose that tower if I turn it down? Oh no, we can still see it. Okay, alright. Uh, well. No way. That's a shame. 
Feature uh, 2 plus 48 into the EVA. Don't know exactly what that uh, tower... Oh, it suddenly went somewhat transparent right there. It's probably the rain complicating things. It's probably some sort of radio tower, but uh, I can't quite see its name on the map. I see a name of various other buildings. A suspiciously two-dimensional one there that's probably... Oh, well, it's getting some more dimension. Hey, I'll copy you have the side deployed. Yeah, everything's deployed. I'm gonna go get the shorting plug now, Houston. Okay, standing by. Yeah, there's a whole... Uh, some interesting structures there by the river. Those are definitely unique. But I don't have a name. Uh, if I flew closer, maybe I could zoom in on the name, but right now I can't. Well, definitely an airport over there. That's also a unique building down there. All of this business too. Yankee Clipper, Houston, the computer is yours. Don't know what that location is. You're cleared to rotate Astro Switch 1, Pete. Astro Switch 1. Okay. Interesting sight over there. Now what's this? Park here is called North Park, Nord Park. I think this must be some kind of mall here. Esprit Arena. Oh, that's an arena. Now, yeah, it must be... There's not a whole lot of parking here, but... <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely an arena. Well, there's a train there, I guess. Lots of mass transit available. Oh, the parking is uh, a little bit further. Actually... Hmm. This area of trees on the map says parking. Well, that's some really shady parking. Okay, on to Amsterdam. I mean, further to the east is Duisburg, Essen, Dortmund, lots of cities around. But I want to see how the route to Amsterdam looks like. Last time I did this flight, there were some questionable photo scenery areas, so seeing if I have improved upon those.
Yankee Clipper, Houston, go ahead. Got some cooling towers off to the right there. That's affirmative. We'll be up with you in about uh, two minutes. I think we've been making slower progress. The wind is sort of off to the side, so it's not a big it deal. Is. Well, I think that rock, I think it's a, a, it's a little secondary impact crater. Very funny manner. Boy, is that a funny rock? It looks... Yankee, Yankee Clipper, Houston, I have the maneuver pad when you're ready to copy. Go ahead. Hey, here's a rock. I'll be glad to see it, Houston. That's an interesting one. Like a soft... Dick Purpose, Lunar Orbit Plane Change 1, SPS, GNN, 36733, minus 073, plus 051, 119, 47, minus 0011. I didn't even hear the Gordon respond plus really, but. 03496. I guess the PAO all was balls. focused on the all zeros. pair on the ground. Zero, zero, six, two, five. But the Capcom could Plus, hear zero, Dick zero, Gordon respond. Five, seven, three. Zero, three, four, nine, or seven. Zero, one, eight. Zero, three, three, seven, one. Zero, five. Zero, zero, two, six. One eight seven. Dick for uh, foresight, Draco Beta. And that's a down zero zero seven. Right four six. The remainder is NA. Sirius and Rigel. Ah, uh, star sightings. For your alignments, zero four seven, two six three, zero five five. And that's two jet ollage for fifteen seconds. Read back. Hey, are you, are you through, Al? Yeah, I got, I got some pictures to take in there. Oh, there's Dick Gordon. Clipper, go ahead. Zero, talk to me. You're to take off the relay. Pete and Al, I'll cut you out. Gonna bring the tone down. Okay, Clipper, understand. Uh, you did not copy all of that pad. Is that a firm? No. <laughs> I think he said that uh, Al and Pete were talking over the Capcom. At least that's that's what I got from that. <laughs> and and the conversation from. Pete Conrad and I'll be in his letters. Yep, another big rock. Now well, look at that rock over there. The geologists are probably going crazy. Okay, Tell us more uh, about the you. rock. <laughs> What's so interesting okay. about it? Hmm. I think it. I don't know what's causing this much lag. Let's see. On earlier flights, it was not so bad. All these options to tweak. Tweak. Hey, Houston, go ahead. Let's 
seems reasonable. Okay, how long are you going to let us stay out? Feed, you'll be extended uh, 30 minutes, so you're out for a total of uh, four hours. And uh, it looks as though you're... Uh, <coughs> Yeah, I don't okay, know what you've to got uh, with. about one hour left, and it looks as though we're going to have to uh, close off pretty much with the nominal plan and stand by. We have some words on the traverse back. Okay, standing over at the head crater. <laughs> Why don't we start picking up some rocks, Pete? Yeah, we'll wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a picture of it? Sure do. Make it set up. Let's see, max FPS. Well, okay. we'll keep it to that for now, then. Hardly looks much different from the way it was looking before. Pete Nail, two things we'd like you to do on the Traverse on the way back. One is to uh, get samples and uh, some documentation of those mounds. And secondly, if you can, get over to the 1,000-foot uh, crater, which is northwest of the LCEP, and uh, get samples and documentation of that samples from there. 1,000-foot crater. So is that where we are? Is that that over there? They don't mean the head crater, do you? Let's get some of this mound down. OK. Negative. Uh, well, if you're a head crater now, we'll give you, uh, we'll give you a radar vector. Stand by. You've already, you've already got the pictures of this thing. Yeah, at 15 feet, I'm just taking it close up. Okay, uh, the flickering has increased. Okay, wait, let me get close. Wait, wait, Does that mean uh -oh. there are clouds right, below me or clouds it. above me? I or I'm picture. going through them or something. Okay. I don't know. The uh, crater which we speak of is Pete. The crater which we speak of is about 300 feet northwest of head crater. Oh. Oh, I think we might be in a transition between tapes. We'd like you to do on the yeah. traverse on the way back. Yeah. One is to uh, get samples and uh, some documentation of those mounds. And secondly, if you can, get over to the 1,000-foot uh, crater, which is northwest of the LCEP, and uh, get samples and documentation of that samples from there. Trying to get above the flickeriness. Maybe it's time to ascend a bit more. Foot crater. So is that where we are? Is that that over there? You don't need the head crater, do you? Oh, I guess uh, the, uh, the other tape now, okay. ended while this one started up. Uh, well, if you're a head crater now, we'll give you, uh, we'll give you a radar vector. Oh, okay. Standby. We've got Thank above you. the flickeriness. Looks you're like you're up to 3,000 feet. Yeah, at 15 feet. I'm just taking it close up. Okay, go get the lobster. Look at that black rock here. Okay, wait for me to close. Wait, wait. Uh, right. that I got it. I got it. I got yeah, it. Let's get a picture of it. Okay. So that one? Well, I think there's some cloud shifting. I mean, wind shifting. Hmm. Pete Houston, the uh, crater which we speak of is. Okay. The crater which we speak of. That's where the previous tape ended. Northwest of head crater. Oh, oh, I see it. Just, you mean the great big one over here? <laughs> the great big one over here. And Pete Nail, uh, we'll be talking with uh, Yankee Clipper, giving him a maneuver pad for about the next five minutes. It's sort of a little castle thing right there. This Camp Lintford. Yankee Clipper, you you could work six or seven hours here. Everybody a bit. We have the relay out. We're okay. ready to give you the maneuver pad. Try to knock a piece of that off. Uh, no, you're not. Just be careful. 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 Just be careful.
But the feeling that when that crater was made, it just threw out a big blob of dirt. This is where it landed. Yeah. Ain't any good break. Hey, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to find this uh, that micro wreck shot. You ain't got any good here. Here, here, here. Let me get pictures. Pete Nail, Houston. That'd be a good. Go, Go ahead. ahead. We're trying to get a maneuver pad up to uh, Clipper, and he's having a hard time copying it uh, with your talking in the background. Uh, could you? Do we have some silence for about uh, <laughs> for about uh, five minutes while we get that pad up? Five minutes. Get that pad. Can we get five yep. minutes of silence from you guys? Okay, we'll be right back with you. Hey, Clipper, Houston, are you ready to copy? I gotta say, uh, somehow we've made much less progress than I expected going uh, 120, I mean it's 124 nautical miles, and we've been going about 124 knots, we're nowhere near halfway there. I do not know how this has happened, but... I mean, even the ground speed has been pretty high. I guess I've been meandering too much. I've been trying to fly reasonably straight to Amsterdam. And that's, uh, Draco Beta. But yep, this is gonna go a little bit longer than I expected. Right. Four six. The remainder is NA. Cirrus and Rigel. Next flight will be nice and quick, but also probably very loud. And that's because it's a DC-8 going from Amsterdam to Hamburg. It'll be a KLM DC-8. But uh, for some reason, that particular DC-8 doesn't like to obey volume controls at all. Like, even the main volume controls in the game. So, I don't, I don't understand how that works, but... We'll see. Maybe the latest X Plane 11 update will have changed that. Still, I can't resist flying a DC 8. So. In fact, the next few will be airliners, DC-8 and then an Airbus A380, uh, 310, not 380, A310, and then uh, MD-82. Roger. You got about another 200 feet to go. You can see these uh, linear patterns uh, quite frequently on the surface, Houston. Uh, they're... Uh, I sense I'm getting into the clouds now. Let me pitch down a bit. Recently in geologic time is like maybe thousands of years, so I don't know. I don't know what. Are they talking about like last week? I mean, I'm not entirely clear. Now we copy that. We show you're three hours and seven minutes into it, into the EVA. 
And we'd like you back uh, to the LEM to start the closeout in 10 minutes. That's at 3 plus 1, 7. 10 minutes. Okay, holy Christmas. We're going to have to smoke there, Houston. That's affirmative. Yeah, we're all on the <laughs> I like how you said that's affirmative. Okay, you know, not getting very many rocks. Yep, get a move on. That's what you want. That's what you want. Run, baby. <laughs> hey, look, when we start picking up, let's try to get a, a larger Hey, look at this. looks like a brilliant spanking fresh impact crater. Look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> guy, I, huh? I really don't know what they think. How old that impact crater yeah, is. Get some rocks right here. Here's some. Hey, get some pictures first. Get some pictures of that crater and I'll get something over there. I get this one right here. Uh, okay. Wow, we've got some stickiness here. I wonder why these look so fresh. It must be just a difference in materials. Well, it sure does look fresh, though, doesn't it? I think it's the lighting but that's so sort of turned away. dark okay. on the landscape. Listen, we need to find a great place, too, you know. And there's a bunch of room. Hey, Sun's the right there. Oh, I guess it must be the clouds. Move on, move on. That's a nice look for this plane. There's not a don't whole lot going on on the ground anyway. Uh, Let's go. Okay. Right about there. Get right to the this crater and photograph and get a pan in it. And we have to come back this way. Look at that. That crater is spectacular, isn't it? Wow, that's true. Look at that rock. I'd like to... Oh, oh what up there? In some of this bedrock. Hey, well, we may want to go back there tomorrow, but we can't go any further. Then we get back in 10 minutes. Oh. Hey, there's bedrock right down here, a little bit. Where? It's right down the hill. Hey, you're right. About 50, uh, 50 yards. Here I go. Hey, good job. Well, definite benefits to having a second EVA. You're right. But pay it at first. Yeah, just a minute. I'm going to get in here. You got to go to intermediate cooling. Okay. Better run just so far, I'm in. Yeah, look, hey, look at those, don't, don't they look like them? Looking in the zero phase, look at those yeah. fresh little jabber dudes. Now wait a minute, I want to go ahead and pan. And okay, well, let me get to 74. Okay, what the heck? 74, that yeah. has two steps. Eight, right? 50 and you're looking, that's got to have an 8 over there, and 11 right there. And it's got to be one. clouds, I don't know. Two. I don't know what's going on around this area now that seems to be lagging it so bad. Okay. I hope to get back to that lamp a long way. That's where we are. It is almost as bad as Take London or Paris. Uh, got it. It's, it's over this rock down here. And there the isn't a London and Paris around here. I think it's okay, just the clouds, but here, they're the not really being rendered a lot. Just your hustle. We show your three hours, three hours and eleven minutes, and we'd like you back there around uh, seventeen. Six more minutes. We're picking up a couple right now. We're on the way back. All right, there's a big block over there. Got it? I can't get it with the con. Go ahead, I'll pick it up. We're approaching the German Netherlands border. Okay, got anything else you want to put in your bag? Got to push another one over here. Actually, to both the left and right, it is already Netherlands. It is just a 
part of the border that happens to stick into the Netherlands a bit, I guess. A little bit further to the northwest than the rest of the border. Roger, Pete and Al, we copy. Uh, we suggest you start uh, smoking on back there. You're 313, and uh, I'd like you back there in four minutes. Really pushing him. Okay, we're on our way. Let's go, Al. Yeah, let me ask you something. Huh? Yeah, I think we're going to get it. But I was looking at that rock. Roger, Pete, we copy. The tail says Keith Walton on it. Not too sure exactly what that signifies. Not usually where you'd put the pilot's name. Suddenly the clouds are gone. They got me back. Are they really gone gone? That's a sudden change in weather. Jeez. Oh, no, there they are. Boy, it took them a while to come back. Oh, serious overcast stuff going on here. Going like, well, they're gone, but the frame rates are still bad. Ah, uh, nope, they, they came back. That explains it. Just past the town of Clev. Let's go. 
After all down, but uh, as we descend, it's definitely accelerating. I wish I knew why its progress has been so slow. I mean, again, I thought given our average speed, we reached there a lot quicker, actually. It's almost like we're at some sort of lower level sim speed or something, reverse time acceleration. Seems to be some sort of line in the on the ground. Hey Al, yes sir. Never mind. Wait a minute. Come get me. And I'm trying to get below the clouds here, per usual. We're approaching the city of Arnhem. Famous with regards to its bridge or bridges. During World War Two. One camera and eighteen. Arnhem will be to the right. If we can see it, there's serious cloud cover right now. I am using real world weather, so it is what it is. This is how it is right now. What was that note? Sometimes. That surveyor sure looks neat sitting on the side of that crater. Pretty steep wall over there. Uh, this that would cross. This is actually a river. It's not got the proper water texture. This is the Wall River. Okay, well, let's level off here. Oh, 
Okay, that that set of pants be. Okay, one rock box open. Okay, one more set to go. Okay. I've got this bag of rocks on me here. We'll just bring them to you in a minute. I'm having trouble here with the rock box holders. Okay. That little trouble I can help you with. Yeah, yeah, this rock box keeps wanting to go up in the air. Let's, let's try and render a little bit more on the ground. Yeah, doesn't seem to be much to do. Didn't seem to create any oxygen buildings for whatever industrial park is going on here. Uh. Uh, basically Arnhem around here. Not the best look right now. We're fairly low, though. Okay, come get the core too. Okay, uh, it work. Okay. Darn clouds and everything. Here's the. Go to the back. I'll put it in the hand tool carrier. Yes, sir. Just gonna lay it in there. I'm not gonna. Yeah, fit it in there right now. So we can finish. Well, next time I'll definitely try and fly at a time with less adverse weather. Not so much because I'm mind flying when there's a lot of weather, even if I have to get below the clouds. The frame rates are just horrible. Otherwise, the weather would make it more fun. So I have to say, this is much less dynamic than um, than even in flights in ten. With SX, the the weather really made you feel like you were flying in weather. I, I, but I'm missing some of that around here. Okay, Al. I'm pretty Good sure idea. it ought to be raining right, and a little bit more, more yeah. dynamic. But Again, wish we had more rocks. Wish we had more rocks. Okay, I'm close, 32 right knots, but that's at 12,000 feet. Does it have, uh... Doesn't say anything about the surface. I guess there's no... Let's see... I guess there's no precipitation, but it's not showing the clouds either. Uh, from that area. Oh, no, maybe it was. The, these are cloud patches here. Let me see if there's something I could be doing all that time. And one thing is shut down my water. We're in a freaking death again. Might be better to just to fly inside the cockpit for this bit. Since we're so low. A little hard to try a bit. You have to auger it a bit and pound it. But now it's full length, let me take a picture of it, that'll be it. Roger, Al. Sounds like you've got the lunar core tube technique worked out. <laughs> I got the record for core tube depth right now. In the pocket. <laughs> Good <feeling. laughs> Copy your depth. record of core tube depth, and you've probably got the record for flinging pieces of ALSEP across the lunar landscape. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> And would you believe I found a use for the big scoop? Okay, here comes the cruiser. Hey, got the cap ready, Pete? Yeah, it stuff comes right out. That's, that's all right. Okay, bring it right back. Just a minute. Now, Houston, I'm coming right by the TV camera. Did you want me to do anything to it? That's affirmative, Al. First, we'd like you to take and put the uh, automatic light control switch to inside. Then 
open the aperture in steps and leave it at 10 seconds at each step. Okay. It's now on inside. Okay, now I'm going to the aperture. Looking almost directly across front, by the way. Roger. Call it out if you would, Al, while you're doing it. F-22. Okay, I'm at F-22 right now. I'll stay there for about 10 seconds. Okay, go into the next one. There's not a lot of marks down here in Houston. It's only about three marks. I'll just move it a little bit. Okay? I've moved it uh, just a little bit. I'll leave it there for 10 seconds. Then I'll tell you when I come to the next mark. Okay, move it again. Houston Rock Box going into the wide pad with the uh, mylar or whatever you film or whatever you call that stuff off the uh, SBN antenna going on top of it. Okay, it is in five seconds now. Houston, it's been there for about five seconds. Roger, L, we copy, and uh, Pete, we copy. You got the rock box over there with the H film from the S band. Okay, now it's a little past five seconds. Open it up a little more. I'll bring you, I'll bring you that core tube in a minute, Pete. Hmm, you know, got and some right cars on the that, highway finally. Does that lamp look does that serve Not over there point? though. Been pretty sparing about okay, the cars okay, despite the fact that we've been flying at pretty Roger. low levels. Okay, now uh, just, a, just a little bit about 2.2. Okay, now it's going to be wide open on the next move, which is right now. Okay, it's wide open. Standing by for some more instructions, Houston. Okay, Al, uh, would you do one other thing and uh, pick the camera up and invert it? Maybe give it a shake or two and see if we can uh, <laughs> get any change. Uh, invert it, give it a shake Over. or two. That's right down, I'm shaking it now. I still am a little concerned about this uh, plug on the back of the uh, camera. It looks, uh, doesn't look exactly uh, perfect. It looks like it's cracked a little bit, but there's uh, still material. And, uh, it looks like it could have melted or something. There might be a problem right in the wire in there. Okay, I've shaken it and uh, what have you? Oh. Okay, and Al, why don't you uh, try moving that wire on the back and see if that will do anything. Okay. I'll try to hold it in for 10 or 15 seconds. Get in now. Hey, Al, I think we've run out of ideas here for the present time. Let's press on. If you take the camera over and put it in the lem shade, point it at a dark spot, the darkest spot you can find, and open the camera way up, F2.2. Okay, we'll do. Let's go with the core tube. Okay, babe. There you are. Take this hammer and core tube if you want. Got both of them in my hand here. Let me set the camera down, then I'll have yeah. Hold on. Hey, and a boy. Camera right there. Not a shame that camera didn't work. 
That's right. Take, put, the, put that somewhere. I just drop it right in this baby right here, okay? Okay, Pete? It looks like the dirt's in there? Yes, sir. It looks like the dirt is in there. Good. Put the cap on it, too. Got it all unlocked here. Okay, unlock. That's it. That core tube's in the back. Oh, wait a minute. Give me uh, my, uh, give, give me my rocks off of here, will you? Sure will. They got a whole bag full of dirt there. Okay, there's a rock. Want me to do it? No, 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 just give me the bag, the whole bag. Sorry? You want to, we want to save that bit? And, uh, let's throw that bit in the box. Okay, I will. Let me have it. Okay, here. No, no, not there. Here, you got it. That's a couple of neato rocks. Okay. Pete now, Houston, we show your 3 plus 35 into the EVA. And you've got plenty of consumables, so uh, we're, we suggest you uh, go at a re relaxed hustle to get back in. A relaxed hustle to oh, get okay, back okay. in. It's almost all done. I think we've got it made. Hey, hey, Al, I've got to dump some of this dirt. Come here, pal. Just a second, let me move this thing. Hey, hey, just let me get out. Box. Okay, you get it. There you go. It's wide open now, in the dark. Okay, Houston, it's wide open, in the dark. Okay, Al. And I feel like the guy in the shopping center waiting for his wife. Okay, I'm on. I'm being in here holding two bags, buddy. <laughs> come in, come in. <laughs> Why did you do Don't get okay. down to let the LEC. Okay, what I want you to do, no, no, no. Dump some dirt in this bag. Dump some dirt in that bag. Yeah, yeah. And okay. Boy, how much? Would you say stop? Now well, let's just keep on going for a little bit. Okay. Hey, right, let me look. All right. Boy, that's dirt. That's dirt. You better believe it. Not gonna go many roses here, but uh, no, that's good. That's funny. Hold it. All right. Now let me shake her all down. That's a good bag full. This is Barneville, and we're approaching Amersfoort. And after that, the next big city is Amsterdam. Oh, let's pause. Hopefully, if it loads a whole bunch of stuff right now, it'll be smoother later. I don't know. Okay. show that you're uh, 3 plus 38 into the EVA and uh, you got a fair amount of consumable so uh, don't uh, don't rush too hard getting back in uh, just do what you have to and uh, do it at a safe pace 
Will you confirm that you have the uh, stereo camera over in the sun? Okay, a bit to the left is Amersfoort. Can't really see the details right now because we're flying so low, and I've limited the number of buildings. Try and fly a little bit closer. But I don't see much going on. Yeah, okay. I'll just head to Amsterdam. So on the bright side, for the next few flights, we'll be flying well above the weather, and we should have fairly good performance. No more of this slow. Flickery nonsense. I can crawl up the ladder halfway to get my upper on. Yeah, crawl up the ladder, can't knock it off. There you go, that's a good idea. Go ahead and do that. See anything out, out above me? Nope. Anything? Yeah. Just go ahead and start up the ladder, okay? Oh, 12. There you go. You didn't quite make it. There you go. They put. Hey, Al, would you give us a mark when you're on the footpad? Let me check this. Wait a minute, wait, wait. On the right side, it looks like we'll land just in time to get them back into the limb. So, while I didn't really want this flight to be this long, timing works out in a way. It is just the ground that seems to flicker. Oh, actually, that's more than I wanted to tilt the camera. Now, see the hatch. When you come up, take a good look at that hatch. 
somebody's going to have to be tender about it. I'm not sure we're not going to want to put some tape over it or something. Okay. All the way down. Raise, raise your rear end. Out of way. Got her. That's as far as I can go. I'll do a push up. Let him some more. Out in. Very good. I'm in the hatch, Houston. Roger, L. Copy, you're in. Okay. Maybe your old friendly third will get the ETB. Okay, just a second. Let me get my gear. Okay. Just a second. I need TV and two cameras ready to come up. Oh, there's my friend again. Now, Dean. What? Think that thing's going to drive me buggy. Guess what? Houston? Go ahead, Dean. You want me to switch over to Lunar Stay Antenna? You want me to switch to Lunar Stay Antenna right now while I beat down the surface? Over. Roger, that's affirmative. And track mode off. Okay, I'm going to Lunar Stay right now. So we may lose time for a second. If I don't hear from you, I'll come back up. Roger. Stay. Houston, Apollo 12, how do you hear Lunar Stay? Intrepid, you're loud and clear. Sounds like Pete did the job. Thank you, ETB. Sure did. Got uh, those signal strength, Houston? Go ahead and start ETB up. I've got good. I'm going track mode to off. Roger. Now. Just a second, Pete. I haven't got the ETB rig. One second. No. I'd rather see all the details now. We're getting relatively close to Amsterdam. You can sort of Intrepid see. Signal strength is good. Okay. Matter of fact, you sound stronger. Some of the waterways here. I believe so, Pete. Okay. Pete, about it. Got it. We got it. Wait a second. Let me clear a nice little room here for it. Okay, that definitely is missing a top, that building. <laughs> hey, are we going to jettison this garbage bag at the end of this EVA? Yes, sir. Okay, let me get a good position. Why don't you throw it out right now? That's a good idea. Uh, have the clouds I'm actually cleared up a bit? A good idea. Or is we'll that just temporary? It looks like they've cleared up a bit. Well, thank goodness. About time. Okay. Here it comes. Transfer back in the gears. On the map, this highway is the A one. Sounds okay. important. Bring her on back. Okay. Wait, wait, don't let him get hang up. 
it's coming. Let her go. No, wait a minute now. Just keep it taut. Okay. Ah. Hey, you can't do it that way, Al. Take it easy. Hey, sit it out slow. Attaboy. Attaboy. Now, now you can let go of it. A little bit there, the roadways looked a little bit choppy, but as I got ahead there, the roadway looks a little bit choppy, but uh, back here it they formed up again. Let's see if it does it over here as well. Nope, this bit might be just messed up. You can tell by the photo scenery that it's definitely supposed to be continuous, but... Roger P, copy. One SRCN. Yep. Open street map or whatever generated the roadways. Made a few mistakes. Up ahead, you can see Amsterdam. Hey, you're gonna hang on to it and hand it to me, right? So I can tie it on the porch. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, mine's dirty. This is all basically Amsterdam and environs. If you've got the uh, ETB and the uh, rock box in, then uh, climb in yourself. Oh, good timing. Intrepid, Houston. Houston. Well, are you ready for me to come in, Al? I'm ready. It's up to them. I don't know what happened to Houston. I'm not sure that that lunar spade didn't do it. I'd better go back on track and get him back. Intrepid. Houston, uh, stand by. Okay, what's your problem? Okay, we had a uh, changeover from one site to another down here. It was all on our end. No problem with your uh, antenna. It's working well. Okay, you guys ought to call those things out in advance. That's been happening all the way through this flight. Roger, Pete, we concur. And uh, go ahead and uh, press on on the in ingress. Okay. Okay, Amsterdam. All right, Houston, Mark, I'm on the footpad. Mark. Looking good. 
Bad we didn't have all the clouds in the way this time. Shaking the whole limb. It's just like Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, I understand. Okay, one garbage bag. Anything else there you want to get rid of? Not a thing. Alright, hand me the LEC. Okay, the LEC's got a kind of a little ship out here because of the. Got it? Yeah. Pete, on your way through the hatch, uh, would you give a check on the seal? Seal. Yeah, I can see it probably better than he can from this side, Houston. Seal looks real good. I'll tell you what we did do. When uh, we got out, we, uh, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, you did. Because I remember you were hitting here, and then when I backed up, I could, I tell you, we probably just ought to put a piece of tape over it. Okay. That's my uh, water. 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 Hold on. The, uh, the skin okay. of the uh, hatch, and uh, for about a, uh, 10 inch cut there, and it didn't hurt the insulation, didn't hurt the hatch, and uh, I don't know whether you want to put a piece of tape on there or just forget it. Doesn't look like it's uh, going to bother anything. I'd say just forget it. Okay, Pete, let you get over on your side, okay? Let me move over. Okay. I just checked your circuit breakers, they're all good. All right. Well, we can see the airport from here, and I'll prepare to land. Just a second, not out of the way yet. All right, but I want you to hold the door for a minute while I. Okay, close this front. So I've got to get out of the way. Front thing here. These neighborhoods look a little bit more like I would expect the neighborhoods to look, to look like. These rows of houses and all. Okay. Looks pretty good. Now, wait a second, Pete. Let me back up a little better. Okay, tell me which way to go. Just a second. Okay, you're just perfect. Shoot right on in. Get your uh, chest down in your rear end. Now, there you go. Got it. Go a little bit to the left. Get a little further to your head bumps. A little push up, and you're fat. A little bit to the left. A little bit further to the left. That's it. Up. Show. A little bit gay. You're, you're okay. in the best possible position. Scoot in a little more. There you got it. I'm in. No sweat. Okay, now careful when you turn around. You got Yeah. Into it. It does. Okay. Boy, you look dirty. Mm. No, you do too. Okay, what? What you Okay, it says uh, just need water closed. We did that. Well, we had closed and locked. Yeah. When you're out of the way, I'll slide over and lock. Am I out of the way? Not yet. They might turn around. Stop it. Okay? Okay. You get a little hands and knees and lock your thing. Yeah, I'm fine. Get a push down. Wait just a second. Let me raise my visors. I see what's going on in here. Okay? Can you give me push me down? I am pushing you down. Need further? Well, uh, just, just back up and let me tilt further forward. It's just as good. I can't go back any further. Ah, all the interesting contortions that they have to do to get back in. Okay. Easy. I'm ready. Let me get back in the corner. What's your place? Okay, now I'm going to go over here. 
I wonder if this is the only right cedar plane I have or if there's another one. Okay, well here we go. Doesn't seem to have pappy lights in this direction. I remember last time I landed at the Cedar Port, it didn't even have a proper terminal, so... I mean, in the game, obviously. <laughs> so I don't know if my scenery has improved, or whether it's still problematic. Uh, it's an interesting sound they've discovered. Cabin pressure two pounds. I guess that's the sound of repressurization. I don't know. Eighteen C, because the airport has three north-south runways. We have arrived at Amsterdam after a very long flight with lots of clouds causing low frame rates. Okay, I've got pause right there as they're turning off the TV and they have gotten back into the limb. And next time we'll pick it up. And I definitely landed in the wrong direction, didn't I? Oh, I should have come in on the opposite side of the runway. Anyway, it worked for us. It was very nimble on the ground. Alright. Well, hopefully the next flight will be a little bit more pleasant. And it'll definitely be quick, Amsterdam to Hamburg. But again, possibly loud. So with that, I'll say... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.